The Biden administration's prisoner swap with Iran just weeks before the start of the war in Israel, once again facing scrutiny on Capitol Hill. We know that Iran bankrolls Hamas, and yet it is perplexing why this administration refuses to issue a formal decision to freeze the $6 billion. The U.S. Treasury has said it will block Iran's access to the $6 billion in assets, which are currently being held in Qatar. But the Senate bill is seeking an official policy change to further prevent Iran from tapping the funds. The U.S. does not have direct evidence tying Iran to the militant group's attack on Israel, but lawmakers remain concerned about its long-term support. Iran and Hamas is um, obvious. It's uh, lasted more than a decade. Hamas doesn't have the resources to have the type of weapon systems that they've been using or the training to use them um, without, uh, without uh, somebody like Iran. In return for the release of five prisoners, the United States agreed to unfreeze $6 billion in Iranian assets and transfer them to Qatar as an intermediary. While legislation to refreeze that money has some bipartisan support, Senate Foreign Relations Chairman Ben Cardin told VOA it has not yet been transferred to Iran. There has been no request for these funds, so they're not being released. I need to have a conversation with the Biden administration to see the current status. Other Senate Democrats argue the money sends a powerful message about U.S. intentions in the region. There was great care given to the fact that this money had to be fenced off so that it could only be used essentially for humanitarian purposes. And I'm talking about medicine, medical devices, food and agricultural products. And let's keep in mind that, yes, we have an adversary in, in Iran with the Ayatollahs, with the Iran Revolutionary Guard. But there are Iranians who are suffering. But Republican Senator Ted Cruz telling VOA the $6 billion is just part of a larger Biden administration approach of appeasement towards Iran. Under Joe Biden, nearly $100 billion have flowed to Iran. So absolutely, the $6 billion should be frozen. But so should the $10 billion to Iran that the Biden administration freed up three weeks earlier. And on top of that, so should the $80 billion in oil profits today. Cruz and other Senate Republicans arguing Biden's nominee to be U.S. Ambassador to Israel, Jack Lew, should be disqualified due to his role negotiating the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Liu pushing back during his confirmation hearing Wednesday. Iran is a threat to regional stability and to Israel's existence. If confirmed, I will uphold President Biden's commitment to deny Iran a nuclear weapon and warning to the region that anyone who's thinking of taking advantage of the current crisis Republican senators are expected to block Lou's nomination when it comes up for a full vote on the Senate floor in the near future. Catherine Gibson, VOA News.